Hello, my dear students. How are you all? Look, I have made another introductory video on a very unique topic from chapter number 16, periodic table. And today I will explain you noble gases. You see the picture is very colorful because of their uses in our daily life. They are adding colors to our life. And why they are called as noble? Just wait a moment, I explain you. Okay, so let us begin with the position of the noble gases in the periodic table. We see when we start moving in a period from left to right, the noble gases are placed at the far right hand side of the periodic table. Means every period ends at noble gas. So this is the position they are placed. Now how they are positions or what is the group number? When we count the number of valence electrons in its outermost shell, we found them 8. That is why we often call them as group 8 elements. But when we see their inert or a stable nature, there is no valency they are showing because they are not bonding to any other atom and as they are not bonding to any other atom, they are showing zero valency. For this reason, might be they are called as group zero elements. And on the other hand, when we count the number of groups, then we found them in group 18. So this is what their references, sometimes they are called as group 8 elements, sometimes group 0 elements and sometimes group 18 elements. But where they are positions, you must be very confident about it that they are placed at the extreme right hand side of the periodic table. Now we go ahead, we see what are noble gases. The elements that make up group 18 or group 8A of the periodic table are commonly called as noble gases and they are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. So these elements are called as noble gases. Now one thing is very obvious that every time I am calling them at noble gases means they are all gases. Now we see their properties. They are all non-metallics means they will never be forming their cations. They exist monoatomically means they exist without making a bond with other elements. They are colorless at room temperature and they have low melting and boiling points because of having totally non-polar nature. And for the same reason, they are insoluble in water. Now we see why noble gases are unreactive and why they exist in monoatomic form and why they are called as inert sometimes. So when we see the key point in, which is hidden in the electronic configuration. Now except helium, you see all the noble gases are having eight electrons in the outermost shell which is the valence shell you see all of the noble gases are having eight electrons in their valence shell which is completely filled electronic configuration so maybe as they don't need any more electrons to complete their shells they don't react and for this reason they are called as inert or the most stable among all other elements. And when we draw the structures except helium we see eight electrons in the valence shell becomes the reason for their inertness. That is why they don't bother to gain, lose or share any other electrons because they have already filled shells of electrons. Now we see they are of very much benefits because because of their applications. Yes, you see the helium is used for filling weather or advertisement balloons 
and A shapes and when we see the organ is used to make tungsten uh, bulbs and it also provides the unreactive or inert atmosphere which prevents oxidation of the filament. You see the gas which is filled here is argon and it is not the only time argon is used. Argon is also used to provide an inert atmosphere means non-reacting atmosphere for the certain processes such as welding of stainless steel and also xenon is used in making vehicle headlamps because it's bright it's very glow and you see the colorful advertisement signs are using mostly noble gases and neon is one of the major gas you you look it glows red so this is how we are using them not because of their reactivity we are using them because of their inertness i hope today's discussion will be helpful in solving the answers in learning the topics and in doing your paper with good grades thank you very much god bless you and take care